you weren't followed or anything. Uh, no, I'm sure you aren't. I trust you. <laughs> no, I'm not that good at sneaking around, staying quiet, avoiding being seen. At least, not compared to you. You've got that on lockdown. I'll stick to the tearing people apart and breaking down doors. Mm. No, tearing people apart isn't actually something I do all that often. In fact, I've... I've tried hard to avoid it. You'll be pleased to hear. At least, I hope you're pleased to hear that. Most people probably would be. <laughs> you have an odd sense of humour. You know. Most people don't make jokes about being ripped into little pieces like that. But I'll take it. I think I'd prefer to make jokes about that kind of thing than always be on edge, if you know what I mean. Right. So, as long as it's a joke, I'd be happy to tear you to shreds. Maybe... Maybe not even as a joke. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, tell me, uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. What were you? Yeah, that's it. Tell me about what you learned. What were they sniffing around town for? Are they still on our trail? Ah, uh, shit. Okay. That's not really what I expected. Damn. Okay. No, I thought we might have been able to lose them while we were still in water deep. Wishful thinking, I guess. I just really didn't expect them to be able to track us through a dense city like that, you know? Yeah. They're better than I thought. I forget how many of them there are, so... Hmm. What else? Oh, fuck. Really? They know about the cure for vampirism? You mean... Hold on. Did they speak about it in absolute terms? Like it had been confirmed to them that it's true, that it really exists, that it worked? God. Okay. That's... That's a breakthrough, that is. I would never have expected. I mean, of course, I had a lot of hope that it was real. It was all I had. I was holding on to it for dear life. But... Hmm. No. If it was just one guy, maybe he was exaggerating. We should still stay realistic. It might not exist. He could have just been trying to impress you or something. <laughs> of course. Who wouldn't want to impress you? Look at you. I know you're a changeling and everything. You can look however you want at a moment's notice, but... I don't think there's any form you couldn't take where your natural... Uh, natural beauty shines through. How, actually how, have you got me going on like this? I don't know what you've done to me, but travelling with you has really changed me, you know. I can feel it already. It's like a transformation, but not that kind. Don't worry. Uh, I, I think it's, it's having something to fight for other than myself, you know. I didn't realise how important it was. I've got no choice but to take this all a lot more seriously now I've got someone by my side. <sighs> anyway, enough of that. Did you learn anything else? <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad they're fucking assholes. It would make it much harder to be fighting against them if it turned out they were a bunch of absolute sweethearts, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't say that's a surprise, though. 
I've had enough run-ins with him now to recognise that every single fucking hunter out there is a total cunt. A band of psychopaths, every last one of them. Pick any hunter at random, and they will probably have killed more werewolves than a whole pack of werewolves will have killed humans. And they'll be proud of it too. Nothing more than savage killers. Exactly what they... (sighs) I'm sorry. I know. You've heard it all. There's no need for me to tell you again. Mm Mm-hmm. You're very sweet. I... I'm so glad to have found someone who feels the same way. You know, someone who understands. Uh, uh, what else? Or was that it? How did you get out of there? Did you have any trouble with him? <laughs> what? You, you attacked the guy. What? And killed him? No. Just stunned him. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> well, I admire your guts. How do you manage that? Did you lure him into an alley or something round the back? Can't have been too hard for you to do that. No way. <laughs> In the middle of a tavern. God. All right. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> I hope that really strikes fear into their hearts. It should do. <laughs> You're amazing. Is there uh, anything else you think I need to know? Oh, they already knew I was travelling with you. Wonder how they knew that. But, yeah, okay. Good. Yeah, good. I'm proud of it. Fuck them. I can... I can imagine that filthy sneer with which he must have said changeling. I know what they're like. (sighs) Makes me sick just thinking about it. I'm honestly surprised you didn't just kill that guy right then and there. I'm not sure I would have been able to stop myself. But I know you have better self-control than me already. Shit, what a day. Thank you for going into the city and doing that all for me. You... You put yourself at a lot of risk, you know. I'm very grateful. Hmm. Yeah. In the past, I either would have had to have done that myself, and like I said, I'm much worse at the sneaky shit than you are. Or go without this vital knowledge. So, thank you. You really are incredible. And I'm I'm so grateful. As much as I want to do something. We need our rest for tomorrow. It's already late. You've had a long day in the city. And I've spent most of the day hunting and stuff, so... We don't have to keep doing it piecemeal while we're on the road. Yeah. I've got plenty packed up. Means we can cover more ground during the day instead of having to stop and hunt. So. God, I really want to get into something. But. No. Look, let's, let's go to bed. We're sharing a tent anyway. We can still be intimate. I just, if I do too much with you, I don't think I'll be able to stop. No. What you did for me today, thinking about you going face to face with my enemies like that and fighting for me. It's really fucking hot. But, tomorrow. This is definitely one of those moments where I need to show some rare self-control. Okay. Tomorrow. 
once we're well rested. Come on, let's sleep together. Did you hear that? Yeah, there's someone out there. Or something. It could just be an animal. In fact, that's probably all it is. No need to assume we're being hunted right this second. No. But still. Probably best to have a quick look. <sighs> Let's just do a quick loop around the edge of the clearing. See what we see. I'll go one way. You go the other. We'll meet back up on the other side when we've both been halfway round, right? Okay. I'm not too worried, you know. We make a good team. If anybody's out there, I don't think we'll have any trouble either fighting them off or getting away. I'm sure of it. Better safe than sorry, though. Right. You go that way round. I'll go this way. See you on the other side. Hey, I didn't see anything over this side. All clear. Did you? H Hello? Where are you? <laughs> what are you laughing for? Did you... Did you find something funny? Oh, I see. You're hiding from me. Right. Well, come on out. I feel wide awake now, so we might as well pack up and move on. <laughs> okay, this is very good. You're very good at hiding. But, come on, we've got no time to lose. Uh, I don't think I'm being too serious. We're on the run, you know. It is kind of a serious situation. So, you know. Look, come on out. Don't make me come looking for you. Hey, don't tell me to lighten up. You lighten... No, actually, don't lighten up. If you got any light, you'd probably float away. And I have an odd enough time keeping track of you as it is. <laughs> Why on earth do you want me to sniff you out? What do you even mean by that? Is this some kind of game to you, this whole on-the-run thing? It's very serious, you know. There's no time for games. <sighs> Fine. Okay. If it's the only way I'm going to get you to come help pack up the camp, I'll track you down. I don't know why you want me to do this, but, to be honest, I don't really want to know. <sighs> oh, this won't be too hard. I'm afraid to say, your scent is so distinctive, I'm not going to have any problem finding you. I reckon I could track you from over a mile away. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, you're this way, aren't you? Were you using some kind of spell to disguise the direction of your voice? I was getting no clues at all from the sound. Normally, I use my ears just as much as my nose. <sighs> right. You, uh, that makes sense. It didn't feel like I was actually hearing your voice through my ears. I didn't know you could send your voice directly into my head like that. And you can hear my reply? Okay. That makes things harder for me, but... <sighs> With your scent, I don't think I'll have any trouble finding you by smell alone. <laughs> In fact... <sighs> gotcha. Uh, uh, 
can't wait. Don't run. Come on, I found you. That's good enough, isn't it? What, do you want me to chase you or something? Oh, God. You do, don't you? I shouldn't have asked. But this really isn't. This, this is not the sort of thing I'm used to. Oh, this horseplay. Don't laugh. That's exactly what it is. But, ugh, fine. I could do with a little sport. Don't bother holding back. I think I know which one of us is faster. <clears throat> Go whenever you want. I'll give you a little head start. But no misty stepping or whatever else it is you can do, okay? This needs to be fair. <laughs> I'll do my best not to transform, but I can't make any promises. Hunting you down with your scent on my nose, I don't know how I'm going to control myself. You really drive me crazy, you know. In fact... I don't know what might happen when I catch you, but if it gets to be too much, just say, uh, Ancelanda, and I'll try to regain control, yeah? Okay. Ready when you are. <clears throat> just run. to evade me so far, but I'm afraid your time is up. <sighs> You've given me a real run around, you know. You're more slippery than I expected, but I hope you know that I will find you, and when I do, you're fucked. <sighs> oh, yes, much stronger now. You must be nearby. You might as well come out. You know I'm gonna find you. Come on. Uh, oh. <laughs> that was a trick, wasn't it? A spell. Yeah. Oh, you're in big fucking trouble now. I said no magic. <laughs> I've got you. Come here. <laughs> No, no you don't, come here, there, there you go, knew I'd get you eventually, you didn't stand a chance, not really, although I have to congratulate you. You actually made me sweat a little, but I don't mind, because it seems I've got you sweating too. <sighs> yeah, I did say I'd try not to transform, and I did try, sort of, <laughs> but I couldn't resist, and now I'm glad I didn't, because with my heightened sense of smell, you... <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, you smell so good. <sighs> What's that squirming for? You think you can escape? No, no, no. I've got you now. You're pinned. In fact, you're even more fucked now than when we were back in your cabin a few weeks ago. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm on top of you. There's nothing you can do. I can even stop you squirming if I wanted to. But I won't. It feels good. <sighs> That's all I can do not to bite you. I rip you to pieces right now. 